Okie dokie, in this problem, they give us some information about uh, the price of widgets and how many they sell, a quantity, and then the increased price, and then how many fewer widgets they sell. So we are asked to find the elasticity, which for which we are going to use this equation, going back to this one, percent change in quantity or demand over percent change in price, and then it'll help if we know percent change is new minus old divided by old, and then we can multiply by 100 to get a percentage if we want. But in this case, we can probably just leave everything as decimal. So we want to identify really just a old price and a new price, P1 and a P2. The old price given is $26. Then they say the price is increased to $34.85. We have our prices. Now, if we just have our initial quantity and our new quantity, our old and our new Q1, corresponding to $26 was 188 widgets. Then they say 32 fewer widgets are sold once the price increases. So 188 minus 32 is what will go there. So let's do a little mental math. That's 156. 156 is our new quantity. So we have everything we need to find percent change in both of these. So I'll do percent change in quantity. So we'll do new minus old, 156 minus 188 for the quantities divided by the old quantities. I'll leave that there for now. Percent change in price. So we have new minus old, three, uh, sorry, 34, 85 minus 26 divided by 26. And we will calculate that. So 156 minus 188. We get negative 32, of course, because they say it decreased by 32, divided by the old 188. So we get negative 0 0.170. Negative 0.17. All right, so now percent change in price, 34.85. Minus 26. And we'll go ahead and tack on some parentheses. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. Divided by the old 26, and we get 0.34. All right, so now we're doing percent change in quantity divided by percent change in price. So really just these two divided by one another. Looks like it should give us about one half. So 17 is one half of 34. So we get negative. It stays negative, and we have 1 over 2. And so we're looking for the elasticity to equal negative 1 over 2. Looks like option D. So we're going to imagine I broke out the eraser and D is our answer.